Hey guys, this video will be about the bicameral mind, past, present and probable future of consciousness. It will be the first video of a series that taps into thought experiments and interesting ideas I found on the web and that are connected to each other. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on it. So let's start. Bicameralism is a hypothesis in psychology that argues that the human mind once assumed a state in which cognitive functions were divided between one part of the brain, which appears to be speaking, the right brain, and the second part, the left brain, which listened and obey, a bicameral mind. The term was coined by Julian Jaynes, who presented the idea in his 1976 book The Origin of Consciousness. According to Jaynes, ancient people in the bicameral state of mind would have experienced the world in a manner that has some similarities to that of a schizophrenic. Rather than making conscious evaluations in novel or unexpected situations, the person would hallucinate a voice or God giving admonitory advice or commands and obey without question. One would not be at all conscious of one's own thought process per se. When bicamerality as a method of social control was no longer adaptive in complex civilizations, this mental model was replaced by the conscious model of thought, which Jane's argued is grounded in the acquisition of metaphorical language learned by exposure to narrative practice. Jane theorized that the shift from bicameralism marked the beginning of introspection and consciousness as we know it today. The Bronze Age collapse of the second millennium before Common Era led to mass migration and created a rash of unexpected situations and stresses which required ancient minds to become more flexible and creative. Thus consciousness like bicamerality emerged as a neurological adaptation to social complexity in a changing world. Chains further argues that divination, prayer and oracles arose during this breakdown period in an attempt to summon instructions from the gods whose voices could no longer be heard. Based on his ideas I can imagine that there will be three points of evolution in regards of consciousness and how we experience ourselves. The first low conscious schizophrenic bicameral state of mind which is basically you just executing commands. Then the conscious state of mind based on metaphorical language, basically you processing information and becoming self-aware, however still tied to the limits of language. And third, the higher state of consciousness experienced nowadays by meditation, self-transcendence or enlightenment, where feelings, imagination and unity will play a bigger role. Main driver of the three states is the primitive connection of humans in the early state marked by sharing knowledge only through speech. The higher connection of humans in the second state because of bigger cities and the invention of writing and the third state driven by an all-connected world through the internet and therefore creating an universal mind and consciousness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up if you do so and subscribe to my channel. If you want to help me grow, please share this with people who could be interested in the topic. Until then, over and out.